Hello, this is the Trade Site U.S. Stocks and Futures Market Preview and Domestic eh, Roadmap for uh, Tuesday, the 13th of October, 2020. Monday was a bank holiday here in the U.S. Volume was lighter. We did drift higher. It tends to happen on bank holidays because the sellers aren't around. We started out with a big gap up, too. We'll look at that in a minute. Here's a look at the ES front month futures contract. This is the daily chart of the broad market in futures form. And you can see we've kind of made a little, we're making a little cup heading back towards the highs. Gold down seven dollars and fifty cents. Crude oil up seventeen cents to thirty nine and sixty two. The S and P gains fifty seven point oh nine. Again, a big a chunk of that was a gap up. The Nasdaq up three hundred and sixty two points. The Fang stocks take off again. But look at the gap. A big half of it's the gap, and we'll, we'll look at that when we look at the intraday action. The Russell was only up eleven. It is a new closing high of eleven points. Is uh, it's not a closing high. New high for the recent months, but up eleven is not much. Socks up 35 is a new closing high. Biotech's up 32 is about to break out. The advanced decline ratio on the New York was positive 657, and on the NASDAQ it was positive 638. The trend closes at 0.94. It uh, does not give us any kind of signal. It puts the 10-day moving average around 0.96. The NASDAQ volume was 3.8 billion. Um, no, it's right around the average, the 10-day average. The VIX closes up 7 cents to 25.07. Nothing going on. In the VIX currently, the Dow Jones Industrial Average closes up 250. The TLT, the 20 year bond ETF, up 51 cents. And then here we go Apple up $7.43. Amazon up 156.28. Uh, hitting the uh, static trend line of the last nine bar startup phase of the downside right there. Near all time highs. Note that 13 cell signal was so perfect at the highs. Facebook up $11.30. Not really anywhere. Google gains 54.14, still well off the highs. Goldman Sachs up 6.58. This thing has been so flat now for five months. Netflix up 37 cents, also flat for four months. Tesla up $8.30. There's a 13 sell signal from uh, about a week and a half ago, and we're against the risk line again. The high of the day was that risk line. All right, let's go back and look at the intraday action. So again, bank holiday, we gap up here uh, on Monday, and a good gap up. And then flat for about 30 minutes, and then we just start drifting higher all the way through lunch. And then it's the back. After coming out of lunch, we actually came back down to 13 cell signal. There were two of them, though, today. The first one didn't really hold, and the second one was the high of the day. So that's always interesting. Meanwhile, the NASDAQ side, geez, 13 cell signal pretty much calls the high, but again, it's the second cell signal of the day. All right, so in terms of economic data coming out on Tuesday, we do have the NFIB Small Business Index at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And the CPI number at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Time, federal budget number at, 4, at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, there's still more data coming out later in the week, but CPI, you know, they're not expecting much. We'll see what we get. Charts as usual brought to you by eSignal. If you've not yet taken a trial of our services, feel free to do so. We will help you out for a couple weeks. Forks, I'm sorry, the stock report is posted for the session. We'll call the rest in the lab and in the Twitter feed. Have a great trading day on Tuesday.